very clearly analyze this from the New Testament that God is only one. He's not a woman, not a man, not an idol, not a statue. Okay, now the only religion which really propels this or speaks about this is Islam. Relentlessly, the Quran, which I will give you a copy if you would like, free of charge. Okay, when we finish speaking, would you like one? Why not? Yeah, good man. So it speaks relentlessly, my So what's your name first? Eddie. Pardon? Eddie. Ed, Eddie. Maz Mustafa. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. So let me just tell you. So Islam teaches exactly what you believe. Only one God. Then God sends messengers. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them. They just came to their communities who had gone away from worshipping God. So they came to bring them back to worshipping God. You understand? So if you believe in prophets like we do, like the prophets I've mentioned, the final prophet we believe is the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. God's final messenger to mankind who came for all of mankind. Whereas Jesus, he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He only come for the Jews. He said, do not go to the Gentiles, non-Jews. Only I have come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Are you, are, are you following me? To be, yeah, I understand. But to be honest, uh, I want to say only one thing. All the religions are, uh, are right. All the religions are wrong. In, in any religion, yes. it's a piece of proof. And uh, that's no... <clears throat> It's no point to make a difference between them. God is only one. Any religion have his um, point why it, exi why it exists. This is this is more complicated. It's very simple. Just when people will understand not to make a difference between us, then will we win only like this. But till that time, if will want someone will think I am Muslim, I am I'm that one. I'm, that is only one. That's it. The rules of the life. It's in uh, in uh, Quran, in Bible. It's the same rules. Don't do this. It's very simple. Excellent. That's it. Fabulous. But people make it. Uh, I don't know. That's uh, wrong. But this is. Uh, have, that's uh, how, sorry. I have a. No, that's fine. It's very good. You're speaking very nice. Very good. Things. Somewhere, uh, I don't know where this is written, but the, uh, uh, every soul has to save himself, himself. And all the religion, in all this house, you have to choose the path, the right path. And you see, in the Quran it teaches, let's come to a common terms as between Muslims and everyone, that we worship none than the one true God. So Islam, Edward, is very, very eager to present God as a being unlike his creation. You know, all the other world religions, like you've read and understood in the Bible, they preach the same thing. However, all the world's other religions then make their major figureheads. They give them high, high status, which is equivalent to God. So Jesus was later made as God to the Christians. The, um, uh, the, the Hindus as well, they're the deities. They also only believe in one God, actually. But then they give imagery to that God via statues and human entities. The only religion which speaks about one God and worship none than that one true God. Because you made some nice points. All the religions speak common goodness, common factors, which is consistent amongst all the religions. However, there's also a requirement that you acknowledge your creator the way the creator wants you to. So as Muslims... The way is inside of us. Shall I explain this to you? Uh, this is interesting. You're going to find this very interesting. Now, I hear commonly from many Christians that the way, like you've explained, of worshipping God should be in the heart. That we can feel God and when we need to express ourselves to God, we can do so. But what we say is let God decide how He wants you to have a relationship with Him. It's God's decision. There is no... How to say... He... He don't want to decide. He, he make us free. He make us free. And if he if he, he want to decide, he will decide. He will do nothing with that. If he, he will want to do this, he will do this. That's why he's God. He is not a human. He is no point to make uh, some uh, how to say uh, uh, sub subjective uh, how to no, to make him decide. Not he's God. He's nothing. 
is kind of fast, but we think uh, we have uh, we are smart and can pull him. No, no one can pull us. No, yeah. and that's why I say he don't want to decide for us. He don't. You don't think so? At all. So does it make sense to you though? If there is a God, he won't just create us and say to us, you carry, know, carry on. Just, I'll just, just, just a simple uh, exa example. You want to decide for your children. We can guide or them. You want so we guide them and we inform them. Guide. guide and inform and tell them what's the way. The rest is up to them when they grow a certain age. Yeah, but that's very simple. You mean, yeah. Just you, if you want to understand the father, yes. the, the God, yes. just look at your, uh, your children. That's the God for you. Yes. He make you not for he he, lo he love you. He, he bring you because he want to bring you. And not for eat you or do something bad with you. No, yeah. this is bullshit what comes <laughs> from different... Point. But what I'm saying to you, doesn't it make, for example, if we have a communication with each other, isn't it fair that if there is someone who is superior, like God, he deserves to be worshipped, number one. Would you agree God deserves is, to be... Sorry, what is wor worship? Worship means, um, you know, giving um, adulation, prayer and gratitude and thanks to God. Worshipping someone, paying homage, giving, rev I mean, like, uh, you know, worshipping the individual, meaning to go to that individual, to ask of him, to give him the gratitude, to give thanks to him. Okay. Okay. So then it makes sense that if, if God wants us to uh, give thanks to him, because we, we believe and all the religions believe that God is worthy of being given thanks. He's worthy. Worthy means he deserves to have thanks given to him. So for our betterment, we acknowledge him. Everything he gives us is for our betterment. The food we eat, the air we breathe, the eyes we see, the ears we hear. So we believe that God then has a, we have a duty upon our creator as well to listen to him. So we pray, pray five times a day. We bow and prostrate to God as commanded by God. And this is something, Edward, that was also the method of the prayer, like the way we pray. The prophets in the Old Testament prayed like we did. Moses and... Yeah, yeah, you decide to do this, right? No, God, this is what we, you know, like you are a Christian, yeah, so but, God decides but, for you. He not don't decide, you decide to do no, this. You decide overall, it's your decision. However, but God has all, given you the commandment to he, recognize him. He just how to say, he, he just want to, you to be happy, and but to be happy, to come to one level, of, it's my opinion, yeah. yeah. And w w how I like this, my method. So this is uh, how to say uh, for me it's good what I, what I understand, and yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't want to change it. Yeah. No, that's fine. Because uh, you, you decided to pray, to do this. To, it's, he don't need this. Mm. He mm. don't need your gratitude. He don't. He, he's God. He, you don't don't need your gratitude from your son. You want but it's not. It's not for our. Habit. You know what we say. You see, just when you do something, just look like at your uh, at like at your children. It's very simple. People, I don't know why they complicate all the things. Yeah, he want to teach you not to do the bad things. You can't explain to uh, one year child not to steal from another child. You can't explain them. He don't understand. Yeah, that's why God give us the different ways yes, why we yes. don't have to do this. Yes, yes. And that's but people think, oh, he beat me for uh, stealing. He beat me uh, always, like people think. Or uh, I'm praying once and uh, he helped me. I had to pray at all. This is. He just guide, how to say, he guide you, he guide you, but yeah, so, so, he so, guide you anyway. You see, understand, look at this. You, if, if only you not uh, turn your back again. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, even then, he is with you. But then he, he just stop guiding. But you know, when you said earlier, God does not need our prayers or our gratitude. But you know why we should be grateful? Because he's given, he's given us everything. So yeah, therefore, so therefore, the best way to be grateful, because we cannot see God. You know, we can't feel God, we can't touch God, can but we should be... be grateful, a... You know, uh, when you, how to say, you have a piece of food and you like it. 
the right grateful is not to go and pray. The right grateful is take a piece and give to someone. Yes, that's good. That's the right grateful. Excellent. But also you need to feed yourself as well. You need yes, food for yourself. As I say, this is he don't need this. Yeah. He know when when you are true. Grateful. Yeah. Yes. He knows. This. No, he knows. I agree with what you. I agree with what you are saying, Edward. However, what I will say to you again. For us as human beings to worship God is his due, meaning it's his right. Why is it his right? He doesn't benefit from our prayer, like you said. He has no nothing to gain. It's for us to gain. Because you know why? Ah, that's what I'm trying to say to you, my friend. It's for us to gain. So therefore, it becomes a, something that is a prerequisite that by us worshipping God, God, like us giving thanks and gratitude by praying to him, something he is deserving of because he's giving us everything as i made mention so it's better for us you see better for us it makes you more rounded individual you give five times of your day to remember yeah, him if, if, if the child listen to his father he's, he's better for him anyway so yes pray, exactly now interesting if the child listens to the father so we are god's creation so we should listen to him so he wants best for us he wants us to acknowledge what, what he's given us so therefore having that gratitude to him is important for us because God will never let you, humans will let you down. Also, the God uh, respect when you bring something new. That's because you want your son to make some, not to be like you. He want he over to be at least to be honest. To be, you want to your son be better. Yes. How much much possible? You you will do everything. Yeah. Everything to make him more than you. Yes. That's the. The right one. Yeah, no, I agree. And uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot what I want to say with that. Uh, what you say before? Uh, I said gratitude, giving thanks yeah, to God. Uh, oh my God, I lost. I lost. So, no problem. That's fine. You you, you, you expressed uh, yourself very well. Can I offer you a free copy of the Quran in English now, like I promised you? Yeah. Can I offer, Can I give that to you? Yeah, why not? Uh, I'll try to read. You it. Can, when you have the time, you can read. Okay? Yeah. No problem. That's fine. Thank you.